Okay, hi everyone. I want to welcome you to a new video from runhorse.com sports and I'm in a betting salon or a betting shop, I guess you want to call it here in Spain. I'm over in Europe and I want to talk about sports betting today specifically and I think it's coming to America soon. They already have it in Europe. The laws have already been changed. They allow it in America now in the United States, but it's gonna depend on whatever state that you're in. So they're changing the laws little by little. Some states are allowing it already, like New Jersey and obviously Nevada, they have it. So you're gonna be able to bet online, which is fantastic, or you're gonna be able to go in and place a wager. So I wanna show you guys, to so get an idea what you can do. You can do a lot with this machine behind me. They even have in-game betting, which is live betting. You have live betting odds. So you have a lot you can do. So if you do come to Spain or you come to Europe, you want to look for the family. They'll have a sign out front. They'll say like Coderi or they'll say, this is actually Coderi here, the machine that I'm using. And this is in a lot of countries, this one. And they have some other betting shops too, but I like Coderi, C-O-D-E-R-E, -E, because they seem to offer the best odds that I've seen. So we're going to go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and show you this machine today, how it works, so you'll get an idea of sports betting and how to do it, because a lot of people ask me, how do I do it? What does it all mean? How does it work? So let's go ahead and show it to you today. We're gonna to talk about that. We're gonna talk about the simplest wagers you can make, and this machine offers a lot of bets behind me, so we're gonna show them all to you. If you wanna actually place a bet, you have to get some kind of um, ticket here, and you have to present your identification because they wanna make sure that you're old enough to, to wager and you haven't been barred from wagering. So. We have the ticket here. We're gonna go ahead and unlock the machine. We run it through the scanner here. And you're gonna see this light up behind me, this um, where you insert the bills. So I could go ahead and insert the bills now if I wanted to, if I wanted to play this machine. Okay, we change this into English. Unfortunately, the beginning here is in Spanish. So we're gonna go ahead and start this up here. Deportes and sports. There are a few options, okay. So, okay, well it says English here, but it's not English. So anyway. We're gonna go ahead and show this to you, how this works now. We're gonna go ahead and select. We've got different options here. We've got uh, soccer, football, tennis, uh, basketball, baseball, American football. So we've got some live events going here as well. You can bet in li uh, live betting, in-game betting, which is quite interesting. You have this in-game betting. So that's quite, quite nice. So let's take a look, first of all, at some of the bets that you can place. And let's go ahead and look at there's basketball going on right now, NBA. We do have a few games, so let's go ahead and put, pull that up and see what, what kind of bets we can make. Okay, so we've got basketball. In Spanish, that's baloncesto. So we're gonna have NBA here, which everyone understands that. Okay, so here's your games for today. So this is August the 26th. You can see we have a few games here, and we have the starting times. Now we're on the Spanish time, so we have quite a quite a difference in time here. So the game is starting here at 12.30 at night or almost in the morning. So you have a few basic wagers here. You have the handicap betting, which a lot of people are familiar with, the handicap betting. And handicap is plus or minus points, okay. What is a handicap bet? A handicap bet is a team that you're either laying points, you're taking minus points, or you're getting points, you're taking the points, you're getting plus points. So in this case, we have Denver Nuggets, Utah Jazz. That's the, the game, the first game here. And if you take Denver Nuggets, you're getting two and a half points. That's what the plus 2.5 means. So you can lose the game by two points and you still win Denver Nuggets. So they can either win the game outright or they can lose by two. Now, if you take a bet on Utah Jazz, Utah Jazz has to win by two and a half points or more. So there is no half point. So if you win by two, you lose. So Utah Jazz has to win by three points or more to collect on this, and that is just a flat wager, a straight up wager. So that would just be one wager, a straight up bet. So on that line, you are winning. You can see 91 cents for one dollar bet, or here in this case, it's one euro. So for every one you bet, you're getting 91 back. So that's a pretty good line. That's a good money line because normally the bookmakers take 10%. 10%, so this is actually taking 9% here. So you get from getting pretty good odds here through Coderi, like I said. So a $100 bet wins you 91. So in this case, let's see, we're gonna take Denver Nuggets with the two and a half points. So if we wanna go ahead, we push this here and we get a whole screen, all kind of other bets coming up here. So we've got different lines. They've got quite a few different lines. So here's your main line. You could take Denver Nuggets here, plus two and a half. Okay, so if I wanna go ahead and take that on a straight up bet, here comes up here. And this is called um, 
They call it sencilla in Spanish. Well, I wish we had this in English. I tried it and it went back to Spanish for some reason. Anyway, that's a straight up bat. So, handicap, two and a half. Uh, Denver Nuggets, Utah Jazz, you're taking Denver Nuggets plus two and a half. Now you can place your bet here. Now here's your stake. So this is another thing comes up. They're recommending a bat from me. We don't want this. Can we close this? Okay, let's close that out. So here's the stake. One, one euro gets you one euro 91 to win. So if we wanted to place a hundred euro bet on this, we don't have any money in there right now, so it shows our balance is zero. Here it is there. So we'd have to put $100 in. This will turn green or 100 euros and we could end up winning 191. Now, if we combine these, let's go back here. We still have this year bet. So let's say we wanna combine this, okay? We can combine a bet that's called a parlay. You might've heard about a parlay or maybe you know about this. You can parlay these up. You can parlay, I don't know what the maximum is on this, but I know you can go 10 teams so if you want to get really crazy with the parlay, you can end up getting huge, huge odds. Quite difficult to win when you start parlaying up more teams together. So this is the way this works. And they, you might have heard of a two-team parlay, three-team parlay. You can go ahead and do that. So it's quite nice. You have a lot of different odds to go on with this. A lot of different combinations. I mean, you can get bets for one euro. You can win a thousand euros. But I mean, you're talking very, very high odds. I mean, the bookmakers don't offer those odds for you to win easily. So let's go ahead and combine this up and take a look at what the ticket will look like. Okay, so say we like Denver Nuggets for our first game. Say we like Houston Rockets minus three and a half for our second game. And we like Boston Celtics. We're going to take the two points. It's kind of tricky to screen. There we go. It turns green when you touch it, when you have a bet on it. So we combined up the three now. Now it's going to show up on the right side here. So we've got Denver Nuggets plus two and a half. We've got Houston Rockets minus three and a half. We've got Boston Celtics plus two. So that's a multi-bet, you can see that. We have a three games together. If we were staking 100 euros, we'd win 696 would be the payout. So your original 100 plus that, so you're winning 596. So let's see, for one euro, you can bet as low as 20 cents. I like that, wow. If you wanna get crazy and, and go for a big score with 20 cents, you can do that. A lot of people, I see them at these tellers, these machines all day punching in a lot of tickets. So I can see why with all kind of different tickets coming out of them. So for a one euro bet, we would win. You're winning 5.97 is the odds on that because you're winning your original Euro plus 697. Now let's see, let's parlay up some more. Let's go, five teams. Okay, so we got five teams here parlayed up just to see. So we're getting almost 25 to one odds. We're getting 24.42 odds because remember you have to get take your original bet stake into account. So here you have to place that Euro, if you win, you would get 25.42 back for one. Now, if I bet 100, you're talking $2,500. So that's a pretty good payout, but that's getting all five games right this evening. So if you had all five right and you used the handicap method, you could win that amount. Now, let's get into the other bet you can place. Normally on sports, there's handicap and there's money line. Now, money line is if you just want to place a straight up wager, okay? That means you don't want to fool around with the points. You don't want to fool around with anything. You think your team is going to win and you want to do that. Now, how that works is, okay, they're not going to say, oh, just go throw a hundred bucks on the best team, you know, the, the heavily favored team with the points and you're going to get a hundred bucks. No, it doesn't work like that. You end up getting less for your hundred. So if you want to just play a flat, a favored team that's flat out, like here, 14 point favorite, Milwaukee Bucks. Okay, we love Milwaukee Bucks today. Let's say we like that. So say we like the Milwaukee Bucks. Now we gotta lay 14 points here to win uh, 91 cents. So 100 to win 91 minus 14 points. Okay, we just wanna go with a straight up wager. So we go to this more tab here. Here comes up our bets on Milwaukee Bucks here. Okay, here's the money line, okay? Again, we're in Spanish, so I apologize about that. That's the winner of the contest so we'll just say straight up winner so you can see there's no lines there's no points anything so you end up with eight cents on the dollar so that's what you're gonna win if you play milwaukee bucks straight up you're winning eight cents on the dollar so you for a one euro bet you're winning eight cents you have to stake a hundred to win eight dollars so it doesn't sound like a very good wager does it it's not the kind of wager i'm looking for but there are some people that place wagers like that it's a very close money line and you just want the the winning odds. Now, if you think for some reason Milwaukee Bucks are gonna lose, you just think, no, it's too short on them. I'm gonna go for the long price. I'm gonna go for that high odds. Let's see what we can get on the other way. If we can take the underdog here, if we take 
Orlando Magic. What can we get for one uh, one euro? Okay, so we'll undo that. We're gonna take Orlando Magic now. That'll turn green, and we're getting nine. It's actually eight to one odds because that's 9.0. That's what you're getting because you got to take your original stake into account. So 100 euro bet will win us 900, or we'll win 800. So pretty good odds. You're getting eight to one. Eight to one odds on. Orlando Magic this evening. So if you think Orlando Magic can win the game outright, once in a while you do get those upsets in the NBA. It's probably not likely, but if you think they can pull up the upset, that's the way to go. You can get a, a good stake. Now, if you parlay up a couple like that, let's parlay up all these underdogs today and see how much we would win for a one euro bet. Okay, so we've got Orlando Magic. Let's take... No, we don't want that. We got to go to the more tab. Okay, so we're gonna take the Denver Nuggets. Now that's only a 2.2. Which one are we at? We need Dallas Mavericks. 4.0, so it's three to one. And let's go ahead with Oklahoma Thunder. 2.4. And Boston Celtics. So we're gonna go for the sweep. We're gonna go for the sweep of all the underdogs tonight that are not favorite teams, the underdogs, the ones um, that are not favored to win, we'll take all those straight up on a money line and see what we could win. So for 100 euros, if those all came in, all five of those games, you'd win 38,966. So that is 389.6 to one. So this is quite interesting. What you can get is just showing you how much you can get when you start parlaying up these games. I mean, these are quite long odds. It's unlikely for it to happen. Obviously, you're getting 389 to 1. But if you want to take two or three games, parlay them up. You can see how it starts to build up. So you can see why people like these terminals like this. You have access to a lot of betting that you do not currently have. And even when I was in Las Vegas, you know, I went to a teller and I was betting and you had to fill out like a ticket. So these are very, very good, these terminals. You have direct access. It's almost like... Reminds me of the racetrack where you can go ahead and punch your own ticket. You can make a lot of different combinations. So some people like that. Like I said, for one euro, I have a chance to win a pretty good score. 389 here or a dollar bet, basically. Winning 389. So it's enticing. It's enticing to people. And that's, that's the thrill of this. So you can win a lot for a little if you go ahead and parlay these teams up. And a parlay is when you combine different teams up. So we talked about handicap money line and parlay bets okay so those are three terms that you're going to hear a lot in sports betting now let's talk about there's another major bet and it's over under over under is called totals and we'll talk about that bet now what the total bet is okay so let's look at our nba games again today and we're going to go with take a look at the total bets and the totals have to do with the score okay so what you're doing is you're predicting a score and what the bookmakers are going to do is they're going to go ahead and they're going to come up with a score, a total amount of points in the game. And they do this for all major sports. You have uh, these total lines in any major sports. You have them in basketball. You have them in baseball. You have them in American football. You have them in soccer also. You have them in any major sport. And you're going to get a total number what they are predicting. So they're going to take all the players, all the past performances, the team, and they're going to go ahead and predict that. So in NBA, the totals are normally around, they're usually around that uh, 200 number, somewhere in there, uh, or higher or lower, depending on the team. So around that 200 some mark, usually around 210, 220-ish. So that's what they're predicting. A lot of the scores are gonna be like normal 110 to 100, something like that, 120 to 100. So you're in that 220 range. So normally you're betting either for the total to go over or under that number. So let's take a look. It's gonna depend on the game. And a lot of times these numbers are fluid depending on what players are playing. The bookmakers are very, very smart now. A lot of this is computerized and it's, it's fluid, it's changing. So say a top player is scratched from tonight's game. He's not gonna play, he's not able to play, he's withdrawn. You're gonna have a total change or you're gonna also have a handicap change. So. When, that's one thing I like to talk about. When you go ahead and place your wager, it's locked in at that odds. It does not matter what happens after that. So if a player at the last minute decides uh, not to play or cannot play for some reason, if there's a change, your odds do not change. If you have that bet locked in, once you go ahead and place your wager with Coderi or one of these 
uh, bookmakers, your odds are locked in at that at that time when you place the bet. Okay, so that's something else to keep in mind. Even if the odds change, your bet will not change unless you place another wager. Okay, so let's look at the totals for tonight on the NBA. Okay, let's take a look at our first game again, the Denver Nuggets and the Utah Jazz. We gotta go to more bets here. And we're gonna have to go down to, bear with me folks, here we go, totals. So again, I apologize with the Spanish. Okay, so we got quite a few different numbers here, okay? They're giving you a lot of options to bet Coderi. You got a lot of different totals you can play with. They're all different odds, so they're trying to get you to play different numbers. Okay, so let's look at the main one. It's usually 190, here we go, 191 and you got some fluctuation there with the favorites. So they are looking at minus. So again, 220. Isn't that interesting? I said 220 is a normal total. So it's exactly 220 is the prediction for tonight's game. So you can take more than 220 points or you can take less than 220 points. Now, at more than 220, they're offering you 1.91. That's a normal line. But minus, they're only offering you 1.76, so I'm not really too crazy about that line. I would wait for that to change probably. That's not something that I would like. Now you can take minus 219 at 195, so one point difference, that would be the best line. Now they're giving you different lines, so you gotta be careful because look, they do this to try to trick people. I think you got a minus 219, you're getting 195, and you got a minus 218. So if you weren't, if you were just looking and all of a sudden took 218, you can get an extra point, it's the same line. So if I was gonna bet this game and I liked it to go under, under 219, I would definitely take under 219 over 218. So this is something you gotta be careful about, you gotta watch for, and I would always check those, those lines. I go online, there's a few websites that I use, and sometimes you have to compare bookmakers. If you have an option, sometimes you get a point or a half a point difference on the handicap or the total number, the over under. That is something you obviously want to go with the one that's most advantageous. So that's something you want to think about, especially if you're making a large wager, because sometimes that half a point, that point can make the difference between you winning or losing. Ah, the odds just changed. I don't know if you saw that. I hope you saw that. Okay, that flash there meant that the odds had just changed. So we saw some movement in the line. So we did see some movement here. Look, mine, uh, more than 220 now is up to 195. So they lowered, they've adjusted the line. The main line here is the one I always look at first. And that's the 10 cent line. We had another change, look at that, changing again. So it went back. So it was the 219, now it's back to 220 is the favorite line. So it's fluctuating between that 219 and 220 mark. So if I wanted to bet more than 220 points, it would have been advantageous to me to get it at the more than 219 line at 190. That would have been more advantageous. The machine is about to go to sleep if I don't do anything here. So I could take, say I wanted to take tonight's game at more than 220. So here we go, more than 220. I could place a wager. That would be a flat wager again. We talked about that. That's your straight up bet. You'd win 191. So you can do the whole parlay game. You can do that. You can parlay up the totals. You can mix and match. You can go with totals. So now to win this bet here, if I was placing this, I would need Denver Nuggets, Utah Jazz, more than 220 points total in the game. So I would need a total of like 120 to 110. That would easily go over. That would be 230 points. Combine the scores. So I'd be over by 10. Now, what happens if it came 120 to 100 and it was 220 on the money? Exactly. What if that happened? In that case, the reason that you're laying that money line, you're laying that, or you're laying those odds, you're getting less for that 100. You're paying for that tie, basically. So you're paying for that tie. So if the tie comes in, you do not lose. So that's why, why you're paying that extra money. That's called the VIG, and the bookmaker has to get a cut in there too. So that's the thing. Even if you play four games tonight and you break even, you pick two winners and two losers playing with a bookmaker. They get their VIG in there. They get their, in this case, 9% cut of each straight up wager. So you end up with a little bit of a loss, even at going two and two. So that's the way it works. So that's what the bookmaker does. They're in there to make money, folks. That's how they do it. So they have to be in there to make a little bit off you. So the more games that you play, you give them a little bit more advantage. It's just like any, any betting game, any casino, the same Thing. So they don't have a huge advantage over you and sports betting the great thing about sports betting is you are in control You control how you play you can do whatever you like you can I just showed you have a lot of different wagers you can place 
and you have a lot of different options. Glad we could show you that today. And I hope you learned something about sports betting. We talked about those different things and how to do it with these terminals behind me. And there's also live in-game betting. I want to talk about that later. I'm going to save that for another video. We're going to talk about that where you can do live in-game wagering and you're going to see these a lot of fluctuations and you have live in-game match betting. And that is quite exciting because you can actually bet during the game and the odds are changing minute by minute, second by second. And a lot of people like this kind of betting. It's a high paced, fast type of betting, kind of like a slot machine type deal. So a lot of people like it and it's uh, highly exciting because you can bet on every play almost, especially in like football, American football, you could do that. So it's a, it's a great adrenaline rush. I want to talk about one more thing about, I almost forgot about is when you place the bet, you're going to have a ticket that comes out of the machine. So you get a paper ticket that comes out, it shows what your bets are and it has a barcode on it okay so that is how they're going to determine uh, they have a machine obviously and once the game is official if you are a winner you can go ahead and uh, take that to the to the betting shop and they either have a machine that you go ahead and put it in the machine and the money comes out by hand or some of these betting shops they will pay you at the terminal they have like a cashier and you go up there with your ticket and they'll scan it with a wand and they'll see if you're a winner or a loser. So make sure that you know what you have bad. So if you're a winner or not. So be careful with that because you never know some of these guys, some of these betting shops, they, there's times that they've said, okay, it's not a winner and it is a winner. So you have to be careful with that. That's why I prefer the machine. I actually like the machine where you can go ahead and put your ticket in the machine and it's all self-service. You don't have to worry about anything like that. And the machine tells you. You can also check your tickets with this terminal. You can run your tickets here. You can scan them there, so that's quite nice. I would actually do that. I would encourage you to do that, to scan your ticket there. Or also online, they have a way to go ahead and check the ticket online. Now, another thing I wanna caution you about is if you don't use up your whole balance, say you put in $20 into this machine or 20 euros and you go ahead and play 18 and you have two left, and when you go ahead and click the button to get your ticket, you, your balance remains in the machine. So you have to be careful with that. It's not like it's a racetrack where you click, punch my ticket, and then the balance comes out because you have money left in the machine, you have a balance. So it happened to me one time, I was betting, I was in a hurry, and I had 30 euros in the machine still, and I went back, got my tickets out, and I was thinking it was like a casino or like the self-service machines at the racetrack where the balance will come out. It doesn't work like that, so I actually left 30 euros in the machine, came back, and actually someone was nice enough to to give my money back. So I actually gave them a few dollars for that, but they actually, they were actually nice enough. They were, you know, uh, the next person that played. So that, thank you to them for being honest. So that's something you gotta watch. So that's how it works. And once the game is official, it usually is pretty quick with Kodari, I have to say that. Oh, usually within a few minutes, once the game is official, it's ended, five, 10 minutes, uh, your bets are official and you can go ahead and collect. So that's how it works. Coderi or sports betting with a terminal bookmaker. So hope you enjoyed this video today. Hope you learned something about sports betting. If you have any questions or comments, please please leave them below this video. And we'll see you in the next video. Hope you're doing well. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.